Today, I'm going to share two powerful traffic sources that get a combined reach of over 4 million visitors every month. Also, when you stay until the end, I will give you a free bonus that will show you how my students are generating enormous levels of wealth for themselves and for their families with a secret traffic method that I have used to get over 30,000 website visitors every day for free. Okay, so before we go and take a look at both of these traffic sources, please tell me in the comments what type of marketing you need help with right now. So maybe you need help with content creation, or maybe you need help building sales funnels or search engine optimization or copywriting, whatever it might be, please tell me in the comments and then I will go ahead and create those type of tutorials for you. Okay, so let's go take a look at these powerful traffic sources. According to SimilarWeb, the first traffic source has a global rank of 13,000. Country rank is France of 700. The traffic overview, well, it consistently gets over 2 million visitors a month. And we can see that it is in slight decline over the last month. But if we zoom out and look over the last six months, generally traffic is increasing. And if we go have a look at the website, it is called pearltrees.com. It allows you to organize everything. So it's a free website, but there are premium options available. You don't need them to uh, get results from this. So let's create an account or go ahead and sign in. Immediately, it's going to try and upsell you <laughs> again. You don't need that. And now we can start adding content to the platform. So before we do that, let me just show you how powerful this can be because we have this search bar here. So let's think about something that might be relevant to your niche. Let's go with SEO. And now all of this content is related to search engine optimization, I hope. Actually, let's go with something that's a little bit clearer. So maybe health, because some of that content looked a bit ambiguous to me. OK, so here we have these collections. Now, collections are made up of individual pieces of content. I'll show you what I mean, because this collection so far has got 677 views. This one has got hundred and let me tell you compared to the amount of traffic available here that is quite a low number so if we can scroll down we're probably going to see ones that have got thousands and thousands of views but let me just show you how they're made up so let's go to the first one if we click on that you can see that we have these individual sections here and all of these are individual pieces of content. So if I click on the first one, you see it's just an image and we can see that it's had four ads. So four people have added this to their own collections. I'll talk about how to make these in a couple of minutes, but you can skip through these to the next one. And some of these collections can get an awful lot of views. So this, this piece of content here, if you click on that, that in itself is a collection within a collection. And if we have a look at the number of views that that collection has had, it's almost 2000 and that's from eight subscribers. So it's doing pretty well from not very many people. And again, these are just pieces of content. So if we click that one, it looks like a video to me. So that's being pulled in from YouTube. So you can add links to your content here. They don't have to be images. You can add links to websites if you want to. So let me find one that might be a website. Oops, looks like it's mostly YouTube videos in this section. Anyway, let's try this scary looking one. If we click that. OK, that looks like it could be pulled in from someone's website, maybe. So. If we use this in the right way, if we structure these collections in the right way, we can increase the amount of exposure we get. 
on on the website. So let's talk about how to do that. If we go to my account over here, you have this uh, men menu item there. If you click that, it's going to open up this new panel and that will allow you to go to your collections. If you click that, you can now create a brand new collection or you can just drag in content from the internet. What I recommend that you do is create your own collection so other people can share this. So if you click the big cross, you can choose to import collection from elsewhere. You can add, create a new collection. You can pull in web pages. You can add files, add a note and add an image. Excuse me. Let's create a collection. Think of these as niche specific buckets. Click on that. Give it a title, something that people might search for, something that's relevant to your niche. So if I were going with, um, say, digital marketing, I might want to create a collection for digital marketing. But within that collection, I might want to structure it in a specific way. So I might want to have SEO or copywriting or traffic generation. So let's go digital marketing as the collection. Do take the time to fill in this description. So it says write the editorial or add tags. So why should people be interested in this collection? So I might say learn digital marketing tech. Oops. If I can even spell today techniques for search engine optimization, copywriting. <laughs> I really can't spell writing sales photos and traffic generation. So this is kind of like a catch all collection for uh, for your niche. You've got some options down here so you can replace the, the image. You can search for a an image on the Internet. That's a really nice feature because your image is going to increase the click through rate. So let's think about something that's relevant. It's already making suggestions on what it thinks might be relevant. So it's really doing a lot of the, the thinking for you, which is good in my book. Let's click that. You can add team members if you want to. You can make it private. Don't do that. I mean, that's a premium option anyway. But let's say we're happy with that. Click add. And now we have a digital marketing collection. If we click on that, now we can add another collection. So we might want to drill down into a sub niche level. So maybe search engine optimization. And then we would say something like learn how to optimize your website for search and oops, engines, the complete, complete SEO guide. That sounds a bit, bit lame, doesn't it? Anyway, you get the idea. So spend a bit of time to, to actually work on your copy instead of what I'm doing. And then we can again replace the image if we want to or click add. So now we have, if we go to my collections, we can see digital marketing. If we click on that search engine optimization. So now we can create another collection or another bucket. So let's say sales funnels. So learn how to build sales funnels. And again, replace that image, search the web, so we might want to go with one of those images to make it more descriptive, get that click through rate, click add. So now we can see, actually, let's change that image there on this bucket. So to edit, where is it? I've lost the edit. If we go back, let me find it. So we click on the collection and there should be, oh, there it is. Apologies. So we click the edit icon and then we choose what do we want to change about this? So we could go editorial and tags if we want to change that or title. I want to change the image. Will it let me do that? Customize image. Great. OK, search on the web and let's go with a striking image. It's taking its time to pull that in for some reason. OK, there we go. 
Okay, that'll do. And now if we have a look at the collections, so we have digital marketing, click on that. Now it breaks down into sales funnels and search engine optimization. And we can spend all day creating these buckets or these collections. When we have our structure made, we can now drill down into one of these sub niche buckets or collections. And again, we can get really, really specific. So if we want to create another collection or another bucket about just one area of search engine optimization, for, for example, the Google patents, we could go ahead and do that. Or if we wanted to start adding content, it's really easy to do. So again, we click this button, we choose what type of content we want to add. In this instance, we're going to add a web page. In, in this instance, I'm, I'm just going to add um, one of my YouTube videos. So I'm going to paste in the URL here. It should retrieve some data about that. So I'm going to click add. It's going to pull in um, hopefully the video so if I, and the copy as well. So if I click on that, it should now have the title, which it does, and the thumbnail and the video and my <laughs> my devilishly handsome face. So now if we have a look at how this collection is structured, we can see that it's logical. So if we bring it down, we're getting further and further down from quite a wide niche topic into a sub niche and then down into individual lessons or pieces of content. So that's how you structure your content on Pearl Trees. Now we can do some fancy stuff with this if we want to, because if we click this share icon, we can share the piece of content so we can turn it into an embed if we want to, or we can create connections so we can send to other people or where's it gone? <laughs> Let me find it again. There we go. We can get the permalink and we can now promote this link instead of sending traffic directly to our website. So why might we want to do that? Because let me explain, right? If we go to the search engine optimization bucket or uh, folder collection, right? If we have lots of pieces of content in here, then we have a permalink that is now valuable to members of our niche, our, our community, our tribe. So instead of just promoting our own website, which is overtly self-promotional, generally frowned upon, if not, it's going to get you banned from a lot of communities. However, if we have lots of pieces of content in this collection and we mix it up so we have our own and we have other people's in there as well, now we promote that permalink it's no longer self-promotional. It's actually something of immense value to our communities. So then we can promote that link instead and we still get traffic and we still get to grow an audience, but in a slightly cooler, less, less spammy way. Another great thing with this share option is we can post it to Twitter and Facebook as well. So, Think of these collections as resources and you can add links to your website, YouTube videos, products, affiliate offers, whatever you like to these collections. And we've already seen how powerful they can be. If we go back to health, you can see how some of these are structured. But what we're doing here is we're, we're creating a valuable resource that we can share across the internet and hopefully other people will share it for us too. Okay. The next traffic source that I've got for you has a global rank of 40,000 country rank, United States, 21,000. And the total number of visits every month is over a million. And we can see that it is fairly consistent. It's a little bit up and down, but it is generally well above a million visitors every month and traffic by country, United States, almost 30%, 
followed by India, Canada, Pakistan, and Thailand. So let's go start using this website. It's so easy to use. It's called mix.com and it promises to help you rediscover the internet. Mix is a new personalized discovery platform that unlocks more of the internet you care about. So we can sign in with Google. Let's go ahead and get a free account. Now, when you sign in, you're going to have this curated list of content for you. So if you scroll down, it's going to suggest content that it thinks you might enjoy. So what that means for you is when you add content to to here, there is a chance, a quite high chance, if it's popular, if, if people upvote it, then it's going to get recommended to other people who might be interested. So that means a lot, and I do mean an awful lot of targeted traffic for your website. So using it is really simple. We don't have to do nearly the same amount of of work as we did with Pearl Trees. This one is literally just pasting in your, your link and going. And to do that, we have this icon, this plus icon there. If you click on that, you'll be able to add a post to mix. So you can link to any website, article or video by pasting in the link below. So I'm going to paste in a link to that YouTube video that we looked at previously about SEO. I'm going to paste that in here. It's going to pull back the copy, the description, the thumbnail and my dev devilishly handsome face. OK, we can also install the Mix browser extension. So if you get good results from this, you might want to install that extension. So every time you create a piece of content, you can just put it to Mix and then get some traffic. OK, so we have this plus Mix button. Let's click that. And let me click it again. <laughs> it wasn't working there. So now I can decide which collection I want to add it to. So let's talk about collections in a second, but I might want to add it to a traffic secrets collection. And then I click done and that's off we go. OK, so. Let me show you how to make a collection. So if you go to your profile, click that icon, you're going to get all the posts that you made on here. If you click collections, you're going to see your existing collections, but chances are you don't have one yet. So if we go down to one of your posts, click on mixed. We have this section to add collections. Now, if you type something like SEO or whatever you want to make a collection for, it's not going to be able to find that. So it will give you an option to create a collection called SEO. Click on that. And now it is done. You'll be able to add that piece of content to this collection like that. Good stuff. And now if we have a look at collections, we can see that we have one called SEO. So the trick is to really be consistent because when you are consistent, you can get amazing results like Matt. He's making millions of dollars online thanks to my training. And if you want to know the secret and you really are serious about making money on the Internet, then you're going to need more traffic. So I will give you the secret traffic methods that I never share anywhere else. And you can get them all for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. And I'll also put a link in the description as well. And if you found today's tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe to the channel too. hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care.